Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty With A Purpose. And if you are new to my channel, I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I have for you guys uh, trying new makeup products plus old favorites, if that makes sense. So I'm trying some new stuff as well as some as well as some stuff that I was loving about a year ago and that I just started getting new products and then some of it just kind of like, you know, like withered away. So we're going to go ahead and get into applying some makeup. So for the first part that we're going to do is, I don't know which one of these to apply first. I guess I'm going to apply, so I have two primers to try out. I have the No Problem Primer Essence and then I have the Elf Jelly Pop Dew Primer. So I think I'll try the Touch and Soul Primer Essence first because I'm pretty sure that the Elf one ha is kind of a stickier base. So this is just what this looks like. It's a pretty little, I don't know, maybe I should shake it. I don't know, shake liquids. <laughs> okay, so, and then I'm just gonna, ooh. I feel like this should almost be a spray kind of because of how liquidy it is. And I did, it's actually about to be 3 p.m. here in Texas. And so I did actually um, clean my face with witch hazel because I went out and about went to TJ Maxx again. So we're gonna go out of town. Go ahead and just clean my face a little bit with some, um, what am I trying to say? Just went ahead and cleaned my face with some witch hazel. And now I'm sitting down to refill my makeup. So this actually, it doesn't have a sticky base or anything. And my face does feel a little bit more hydrated and it looks, alive so so far this is good now the one that i'm really excited ooh, excited ooh, excited ooh. Now, the one that i'm really excited about because i've been wanting to try this out forever is the jelly pop elf primer i wanted to try it out the first time it came out but then it like sold out forever and then i didn't have the money whenever it was back in stock and then it discontinued for a little while and then they just brought it back so i was like okay i'm getting it this time and this is retails for ten dollars this is just what it looks like. It's not as red as it looks. It's just because it had this packaging behind it. <laughs> so yeah, if you can see in there, it kind of has like a glistening type of iridescence to it. And so, so it's just a clear little jelly. Mm -hmm. it smells like candy. It reminds me of the ones that you squeeze in your mouth, those candies. That's exactly what this smells like. Ooh, so that gets tacky really fast and it is tacky. But I do want to go ahead and go in with a primer mist just because that's something that I do. And so I picked this up at TJ Maxx today. I went ahead and grabbed another one, but it is a facial prime and setting mist. This one is the refreshing one and this is fresh, fresh rose water and aloe. And I just chose a refreshing one since I have been out and about today, you know, like let's just re-wake up our skin. Let's rejuvenate our skin. Ooh. That mist is nice. That mist is really nice and really soft. It's not like, you know what I mean. Okay, and now because I do need something on my lips, usually I film first thing in the morning, so I already have something on my lips. But today, since I'm filming later in the day and I don't have anything on my lips, Let's go ahead and try this Rider Dye Lip Balm. And this is Elf's new lip balm that they came out with. And I have just peachy. This is just what the packaging looks like. It's just like a little like foil type tube. And then this one's actually really, really red. Like it's more red than peachy. That's thick. It's a real thick. This is something that I would probably use before bed because it is so thick. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna get into that are a couple of new favorites are the Wet n Wild eye product, eyebrow products. So I have their Ultimate Brow Micro Brow Pencil and this one is in the shade. Um, why doesn't this have a shade on it? 
I was pretty sure I probably brought dark brown and then the pomade in espresso. So as always, I'm just gonna go ahead and outline and then fill in with pomade. So now that this is filled in, this is a lot more red tone than I remember. Or not filled in, but now that I've outlined, definitely a lot more red tone than I remember it being. Because okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to go in with is my brow pomade. And like I said, I have this one in the shade Espresso. And we're just going to take my Milani brush and start filling those in. So for whatever reason, this brow is not cooperating with me. So we're just gonna leave that alone. And now we are gonna go ahead and go in with the eyes. So, oh, my Lanta. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this Believe Beauty Concealer. You guys, I was in love with this line last summer. So I just wanted to retry it out and see if I still loved it because I, my skin type has changed just a little bit. And I just, I don't know, I wanted to see, like, is it still good? Do I still like it? So we're just going to use this to prime our eyes. Already I can tell it's not as full coverage as some of the concealers that I've bought recently and that I've fallen in love with recently. And I can tell just from applying that to my eyelids. Okay, so for, for um, foundation, for oh my gosh what am i trying to say for eyeshadow what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this revolution makeup revolution neon eyeshadow palette and this one is in electric dreams so that is just what the eyeshadow palette looks like it's super cute and super pretty so i'm just gonna take this one right here and set down my eyelids with that if i remember correctly i haven't used makeup revolution shadows in a long time I used to use their bigger palettes that are kind of dupes for higher end palettes shade wise. And um, I think I remember liking those eyeshadow palettes. If I'm not mistaken. This does have a kind of a lot of kickback as you can see in the pan. And then whenever I just start blending it out, it kind of disperse everywhere i guess you could say before i go any further what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take these elf eye tapes and just apply those to the eyes what i want to do first is let's go ahead and go in with this yellow right here in the center and start buffing that into our crease so this is not the best yellow i definitely have better yellows in other palettes so I can tell you that right off the bat, like this yellow is not all that. So I'm going in pretty heavy handed with the product and it's not the greatest. I feel like that's just making me look like I have jaundice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go in with this yellow orange right here. I believe that that's shade number three. And we're just gonna go ahead and apply that in the same areas, same brush, not changing anything. I don't know, maybe it's the brush. Let me, let me switch brushes. I feel like yellow orange is more yellow than the yellow. So I'm not really getting like the color that it looks in the pan. It's coming off like what, like yellow. Not really yellow orange. Could be my skin tone, I don't know. Could be that I just expected more from these eyeshadows.
not the best. I'm gonna go ahead and take this orange shade right here. And I'm just gonna start blending that into the outer V and outer crease area. And now the orange looks yellow orange. This is not the best palette. Might work better on a different base as well, so. Maybe a concealer with more coverage or an actual eyeshadow primer. Have to keep playing with it. Okay, so anyways. I'm gonna do something. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this gold right here and I'm gonna just use my finger and I'm going to apply that all over the lid. That's just what that looks like. That shimmer saved this entire palette. Like, no lie. I like that. So what I wanna do though is, I wanna take just a little bit of this one right here and apply it towards the inner part of my eyelid. So another old fave that I'm gonna take is my Il Maquillage Ink Liner in black. And I'm just gonna do a really fast wink. So that is it with that. I told you, really fast wing. And now we're gonna go ahead and remove the eye tapes. And we did have quite a bit of fallout underneath, as you can see, but that's okay. We're gonna cover it up with concealer and foundation. But what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go ahead and curl our lashes. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with the Tarte See Surfer, Surfer Curl Mascara in black. Guys, I've been using this since I got it in my Ipsy and I like it a lot. Definitely gonna be in my July favorites. For today, even though my eyelashes are getting super long, hallelujah, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Salon Perfect 614 lashes and I'll insert a picture here. And then I'm going to pop these on and then I will be right, right back. Okay, so now that that is done, what we are going to go ahead and do is start with foundation. So like I said, this is kind of like a th throwback. I'm gonna spray my sponge real quick while this. Okay, so this is kind of like a throwback. So what I mean is like, I'm trying out new products and then I'm also throwing back some products. So some old favorites. And what I wanna do today is I'm gonna try my Believe Beauty Skin Finish Foundation and I have mine in the shade Warm Vanilla. So we're all gonna go ahead and just pump that on the back of our hand. And then we're just gonna, I'm gonna use this side of my sponge and we're just gonna start blending that in. Definitely has good coverage, great coverage. Okay, so I'm gonna take one more pump, not even a whole pump, just a tiny bit to do my forehead. I can definitely see why this was a favorite. I'm gonna take just a tiny bit and I'm gonna get these areas on my cheeks where I break out more so there's a little bit more to cover up right there.
now that foundation is done which i'm loving by the way you can definitely see why this was a favorite because my skin y'all that looks good like super good so now what we're gonna do is go in with our concealer and i didn't even tell y'all what shade i had last time this one is in the shade light beige I'm going to apply this just like I've been doing all my concealers lately. And then we're just going to go ahead and blend that in. Okay, you guys, so now that I have my concealer on, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to take the Believe Did Beauty. You like this? So I'm going to go in with the Believe Beauty setting powder, and I have mine in the shade Light Medium. And we're just going to use this to set down our face. And this is called the Believe Beauty Matte Blur Loose Powder. Okay guys, so that is the base. So guys, I'm I'm remembering why these Believe It Beauty products used to be my favorite. And the crazy thing is, is like, I have not reached for them in so flippin' long. And now I'm like, dang, like, why did I start neglecting you? Like, what could I possibly have bought that made my skin look better than this? Like, what was it? what was it so anyways now going back in with the eyes i did have this new illuminati gel paint electric blue eyeliner so i'm just gonna apply that to my waterline and my kids done messed it up <sighs> okay so now we can go ahead and apply some mascara do is I'm gonna take this um which one I'll take this white shade and put that on the inner corner so I'm just taking that white shade and applying that to the inner corners it's not too shabby not the, sh the shimmers in this palette like make up for the crappy mattes like this one was good like I said it could have been the base this so this one was good, this one was good. This one was good, it just wasn't the color I expected. This is really like the only dud so far. So, so far, so good. So I don't really have anything to contour with, but my sister did come over and give me this Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil Bronzer. Now this does have a little bit of shimmer in it, so we're just gonna use this just to bronze, not to contour doesn't look too bad though like I don't feel like it's looking too shimmery yeah it doesn't even look like there's actual glitter in it it just looks glowy if that makes sense So for blush and highlighter, I got this new blush lighter from Essence and I got the shade Nude Twilight. So for blush, I'm going to try to focus on this side right here. And then for highlight, I'm gonna come to this side, obviously. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my blush brush and pinch it and dip it in the blush. And I don't know how pigmented this is, so I gotta go in a little heavy handed with this blush. Still pretty glowy for me to focus on the not glowy side of the pan. So now I'm going in with this highlight or this side and we're just going to apply this side as a highlighter because it's pretty highlighty in the pan. So let's just see. Oh, okay. Today is a good makeup day and I'm not even going to do nothing. It's already 
almost four o'clock. So now all that we have left to do are, wow, my skin looks flawless, are the lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off this um, lip balm, which is actually worn pretty good. Okay, so now that I've gone in with lip liner, I'm gonna take this, this, wow, I cannot find words. This e.l.f. seriously sat in lipstick, and I believe this is in the shade Cream. It's just a super nude color. And so this is just what this looks like. And then we're just gonna go ahead and, wow. This, this is not a nude for me. Wow, good thing I chose a really dark lip liner. I thought that was gonna be like a creamy lipstick. So I was going to take this lip gloss in the shade Let It Go, I believe. Shade, yeah, in the shade Let It Go, but I'm gonna take the shade No Brainer and apply that over top. Wow, that's glossy. I don't think you get any glossier than Essence Shine 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 lip glosses. Okay, you guys, so that is it for the makeup portion. Let's go ahead and set our brows. And this is a brow gel I haven't used in a while, and it's from Brow Bar. And I think I don't use this a lot because it's more red toned. And the girl ain't got red hair. So I can only use this when I use super dark brow products. Okay, so the last step, obviously, is to go ahead and set our face. And I'm gonna try out this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Let's just see how this works. I will go ahead and leave this on for the rest of the night. Um, oh crap, I need to take some meat out and put it in water. So I can cook dinner. And then, um, yeah, I don't know, just hang out around the house. Not gonna, really gonna do anything. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and set this down with Morphe. Cause I don't think that this is supposed to uh, prolong the wear of your makeup. I think it's just supposed to kind of set things down and make things not look as powdery. I can definitely tell you why people run through this so fast though. That mist is so fine and so soft that <laughs> you can't tell how much you're using. <laughs> So there's that. Okay, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I've definitely done this eyeshadow look before on my channel, but it's a little bit better because skills. So yeah, for this eyeshadow palette, this eyeshadow palette, I'd have to rate, oh my gosh, a seven out of 10. Because if it weren't for how good these shimmers was, how good these shimmers are, I'd be so mad because this little yellow shade right here is crap. This one right here is crap, but the rest are good. And then this has my makeup looking beautiful. This, these two had my skin looking great before I even applied makeup. So I'm really liking these. Gonna have to use this as a nighttime lip balm just because it's super thick. This nude is way too nude for me. It, look, it makes me, my lips look a little bit ashy. So if you're any deeper than me, do not get this shade. Do not get the cream shade because you don't want ashy lips. You just don't. And this is gonna give you ashy lips, pigmented ashy lips. And then, like I said, I've been loving this mascara and this bronzer, like, that's all I got to say about this bronzer, it's good. I like it. Been wanting one of these. And yeah, I think that's it. You guys already know that I love the Essence Shine, Shine, Shine lip glosses. So there's not much to say about those. And then all these, let's talk about how I'm probably going to fall back in love with these makeup products right here. These Believe It Beauty products. And you guys, the powder's $4, concealer's 4 or 5 foundation is $5. So even if you're on the tightest of tight budgets and you're out of foundation, like go pick up the Believe Beauty Foundation. It's only five bucks. They only sell this brand at Dollar General though. 
You can only find it at Dollar General. And also this spray right here is really refreshing. So yeah, go ahead and see if you have this at your TJ Maxx. We, I went to on Sunday and they had a ton and then I went back today, which is Thursday and they were already almost sold out of them. So I would definitely check it out while you can. But other than that, you guys, I love how today's makeup look came out. It definitely, I was already getting the urge to do my makeup more often, but after today, like, it was the extra shove that I needed to do my makeup more often. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.